Good morning. My dress is caught on this little platform. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today we have lesson 204. I'm loving this review section. How about you guys? Um, okay, hold on. All right. Oops. Lesson 204. Hope everybody is well today. It's a beautiful day. Every day is a beautiful day. Okay. Sorry, this is taking a little bit longer. Who do we have with us today? Hi, Angela and Michelle, welcome. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jorg. Hi, Lorianne. Welcome, darling. Angelo, Angelo and Michelle, welcome. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a brilliant idea to go back and review all the lessons. So the overarching theme for these 20 lessons, lessons 201 through 220, is to go back and review lessons 181 to 200. And Yeshua has suggested that we do 15 minutes of meditation in the morning, 15 minutes, minutes of meditation in the evening, and then to take five minutes every hour to come and be with God, come into stillness, come into remembrance. That's the thing that, that Yeshua says to me all the time is remember, remember, remember. So for lesson 204, which is today, the overarching context is, I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. I love the, the rhyming of the poetry in that. Yes, I set my alarms too, Lorian. You know, it's not just about turning 60 <laughs> that my mind goes, I don't remember everything, but I definitely want to make sure that I'm putting in the time to do that, so. That's how I support myself as well. So lesson 184, which is the one we're reviewing, says the name of God is my inheritance. God's name reminds me that I am his son, not slave to time, unbounded by laws, which rule the world of sick illusions, free in God, forever and forever one with him. I am not a body. I am free. I am still as God created me. Yeah, yeah, the alarms make a difference for me, for sure. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, now let me bring forth our beloved Mary Magdalene and see what it is that she has to share with us about this. Greetings, beloveds. You will find that within your lifetimes, there were beliefs that were presented to you, whether they came from the church, whether they came from your parents, whether they came from your teachers, and you found yourself disagreeing you found yourself saying, that is not truly what I believe. You were presented into a society, beloveds, in this incarnation, in this span of this time-space continuum in which you have been indoctrinated with the belief that youth is what is desired. The body ages, the body gets tired, the body 
goes through this epoch of time and things begin to slow down. Beloved, you have to make the decision whether you will move through time and space or time and space will move through you. If you allow yourself to move through time and space, you are the one who determines how it is that you will move, how it is that you will learn your lessons, how it is that you will age. And if time and space moves through you, it takes you with it. You become like the flotsam and jetsam that is riding upon the wave. For you to be self-determined in your will to say, I am not a body. I am as God created me. That is all I am and that is all that I ever will be. You then become, if you will, the captain of your own ship, the one that determines the journey that you are upon. Calling out to the name of God, discovering the name of God for yourself, calling out to the higher self, the Holy Spirit, allows you to determine the journey of your life rather than feeling as if there is some default setting, this default mechanism, which says I can only do this or I can only do that. You can do anything that you choose to set your mind to, anything that you determine using the will of God. Beloveds, all it is truly meant for each being to do is to love. How many times have you heard this phrase that love is all there is? At the beginning of the course, beloved Yeshua said, nothing real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists. Therein lies the peace of God, but there has been a misperception through the egoic mind collectively that has said, I have a body and my body can be damaged, my body can be harmed, my body can suffer, my body can be broken. My body can be killed. You truly have one life, beloved, one existence, and that is the one that God created you to have. But you allow yourself to go through a myriad of incarnations through many dimensions across the spans of time and space. And in it, along the way, <laughs> you have collected some dust bunnies, if you will, some outmoded and out dated ways of thinking and ways of perceiving, perceiving existence. But when you can allow yourself to come to stillness, whether it is the time that you spend in your morning or in your evening, when you can take these beloved five minutes, and what is it to give five minutes truly to yourself, to your soul? When you can grant yourself these moments of stillness, beloved ones, you come to truly understand that only love is real and only God exists. And we are but mirrored reflections of the aspects of God that we have chosen through our will and through our determination. There are no victims. You are not a victim of the world that you see everything that has been made manifest has happened in accordance to the beliefs that you have held within the mind. So it is the subconscious and the unconscious thinking it has programmed your life and your existence. When you allow yourself to come into silence, what occurs, beloved, is that you sink down in consciousness. Up here is the constant mind chatter. But when you become still, you sink down into consciousness and you come upon the beliefs that exist within the subconscious. And then if you allow yourself to think, sink even more deeply, you allow yourself to calm down to the unconscious thinking. This can be accomplished through hypnosis. This can be accomplished through deep stillness, through meditation. And what you can begin to do, beloveds, is to begin to investigate what it is that you have believed, what it is that you have believed about yourself as a body, about the universe and the reflection that it is to you. Being able to know the name of God is again another key that unlocks this vast vault of information. For you call upon your own name when you do that, beloved ones. Come into stillness and ask for the name of God to be granted to you. It does not matter if it's a name that you've heard before. Ask for your own name, which is not the name that you were born with. 
but rather a name that calls to your soul. Ask your Holy Spirit, ask your higher self to come to you and allow you to understand and to know the truth of you. And the truth of you is that you are love. For that is all that exists. That is all that you are made of. This sense of stardust below its the sense of beauty, the sense of grace. So bring yourselves to the point of consciousness where you can say, I am as God created me. My father and I are indeed one. I am not a body. I have the illusion of a body to make my way through life. But you are so much more. Allow yourselves to remember, beloved ones. Allow yourself to go within, to come to silence. Allow yourself to sink deeply into the depths of your consciousness. And from there, allow yourself to see the truth. And this is done by bringing love home to yourself, by loving yourself first and foremost and in all situations. So go with my blessings and beloveds, when you need, call out and ask for assistance. Ask any of us who have traveled before you, like the older brothers and sisters, the older siblings, ask for us to come and take you by the hand and ask for us to walk this journey of love with you. And we will indeed help you to remember it. Blessings to you, beloveds, and I will speak with you again. <sighs> Hi, Kimmy. Hi, Jean. Hi, Rosemaria. Welcome. Thank you all for being with me this morning. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Have a beautiful day.